Welcome or welcome back to any help at Cisco. In this example, we have to find the value of each variable. We notice here we have an x and a y, this variable, and uh, express this answer in a radical form. And if you notice here, this is a what we call a special triangle, 45, 45, and this angle here is 90. So we can use this uh, verbal statement here and also what I like is this picture, it helps me sometimes a little bit more than the verbal statement. And if you take a look and if you notice here, this x that we need to find out is this n, which is the same with this n in the other picture. So x is nothing else than 10 square root of 2. These two legs are congruent in this special right triangle, which is also is a isosceles right triangle. Uh, and that's pretty much of x. So the only one we really need to worry about now is this y. And if you take a look, this y is this guy, right? Which is the leg times square root of 2. So in our case, y will be this leg, which is 10 square root of 2, this n, right? This n, which is right here, times another square root of 2, which it comes in the uh, picture, in the formula. So we just have to multiply these two uh, radical and we have two choices, square root of 2 times square root of 2. Some people will say that is square root of 4, which is fine, but that can be simplified like 2. So we have 10 times 2. So the final answer for y will be 20. And that's it. If you enjoyed this video clip, don't forget to click the like button and come back on C-Square for more help. Thank you.